Over the years, the appearance of black cubes around the sun has been a recurring phenomenon. While there are various theories and explanations regarding these sightings, there is no concrete evidence to support any of them. One theory suggests that these cubes may be spacecraft or other advanced objects orbiting the sun. Another theory speculates that these cubes may be the result of image processing anomalies, camera lens flares, or other optical illusions. However, this explanation does not account for the consistent appearance of these cubes in various images and videos from different sources. Some people believe that the black cubes are related to the ancient Egyptian god, Osiris, and are part of a theory involving advanced life forms. Throughout history, various ancient civilizations have described and depicted advanced machines in the sky. From the ancient Indian texts of the Vedas to the Nazca lines of Peru, many cultures have documented such objects in their art, writing, and oral traditions. This has led to the question of why these civilizations talked about these advanced machines in the sky. One theory is that these civilizations may have had contact with beings who visited Earth in advanced spacecraft. Some ancient texts describe such beings as gods or divine messengers who traveled the heavens in chariots or other advanced vehicles. For example, in the ancient Indian text of the Rig Veda, there are descriptions of flying chariots known as vimanas that were piloted by the gods. Another theory suggests that these advanced machines were actually built by ancient civilizations themselves. According to this theory, these civilizations possessed advanced knowledge and technology that has since been lost to time. The ancient Egyptians, for instance, were known for their advanced engineering skills and construction of impressive structures such as the pyramids. Some speculate that they may have also possessed knowledge of aerodynamics and even built flying machines. It is also possible that the depictions of advanced machines in the sky were simply creative interpretations of natural phenomena such as comets or meteors. Many ancient cultures had mythologies that were based on the movements and patterns of the stars and planets. In some cases, these celestial events may have been interpreted as divine messages or omens. It is also possible that these cubes are simply an artifact of the way that images and video are captured and processed. With the widespread availability of high-quality cameras and video equipment, it is easier than ever for individuals to capture and share images of the sun and other celestial objects. However, this also means that more people may be interpreting these images in unusual ways, leading to the emergence of theories and other unfounded claims. As of right now, the black cubes around the sun are likely to remain a mystery. While it is possible that there is some unknown phenomenon at work, it is also possible that these sightings are the result of misinterpretation or optical illusions. Until more concrete evidence is available, it is up to individuals to draw their own conclusions about what, if anything, these black cubes really mean. In recent years, there have been multiple reports of mysterious aircrafts near the International Space Station, causing speculation and theories to circulate on the Internet. Firstly, it's worth noting that the International Space Station is the largest man-made structure in space and orbits the Earth at an altitude of approximately 400 kilometers. It is also equipped with various cameras and sensors that monitor the Earth's surface and atmosphere, as well as external objects in space. This means that any unusual sightings near the International Space Station are often captured on camera and recorded. One explanation for the sightings could be natural phenomena, such as meteors or space debris. These objects can sometimes appear as bright lights or strange shapes, which could be mistaken for mysterious aircrafts. However, some of the reported sightings have been described as moving in a controlled and deliberate manner, indicating that they may not be natural phenomena. Some have suggested that these sightings could be the result of secret military spacecraft or experimental technology being tested in the vicinity of the International Space Station. It's worth noting that the United States government has previously denied the existence of any such technology. Another explanation for the sightings could be advanced civilizations. Some believe that the International Space Station is being monitored by intelligent life forms from other planets in the same way that we are sending probes across the solar system. It's worth noting that NASA has not confirmed the existence of extraterrestrial life and have explained that most sightings can be explained by natural phenomena or man-made objects.
ESA Huygens probe landed on Saturn's moon Titan. Roughly 17 years ago, on January 14, 2005, the Huygens probe landed on Saturn's moon Titan. Since 2005, Huygens has provided scientists with data to help them better understand this one-of-a-kind planet. The Huygens probe landing was the farthest any probe had traveled before. After traveling through space for over seven years, it also became the first to land in the outer solar system. The Huygens probe weighed roughly 700 pounds and was shaped like a shellfish with a hard protective outer shell. The probe had the ability to measure many aspects of Titan's surface, including its physical and electrical properties, wind speed, radiation levels, and the chemical gases that are present. The probe also had the ability to take photos of the surface. Imaging team leader Carolyn Porco wrote, I distinctly recall the dreamy feeling of being in one universe one moment and in another universe the next, but it was no dream. We had, without doubt, journeyed to Titan ten times farther from the sun than the Earth and touched it. The solar system suddenly seemed a very much smaller place. The images returned to the European Space Agency included photos of an apparent shoreline, including breaks in the Earth carved by some sort of flowing liquid. There was also evidence that supports the idea of an underground ocean of water and ammonia deep beneath an icy crust. One of the reasons scientists are interested in researching the surface of Titan is because of the presence of chemicals that are believed to have been present on a young Earth. Nitrogen and methane were both found in the atmosphere. The methane element is interesting because methane's lifespan in Titan's atmosphere is only tens of millions of years, meaning the methane must somehow be replenished throughout time. There were changes with the Huygen probe. These changes are helping scientists perfect probe design as we continue to explore space. The first problem the ESA encountered was the spin direction of the probe. After an unexpected flip in the spacecraft's spin, it descended onto Titan more quickly than anticipated. The spin direction and speed were essential to scientists because any alterations could affect the spacecraft's ability to stabilize for landing. The ESA explained, luckily, the magnitude of this reversed spin was similar to that expected by the researchers, meaning that the unexpected flip affected the timing of the planned observations but did not dramatically affect their quality. Unfortunately, there was also an issue with a programming sequence that meant about 350 images Huygens took were never sent back to Earth. Not only did Huygens provide scientists with imperative data about Saturn's moon Titan, but 17 years later, the data acquired during Huygens' journey is still helping spacecraft designers create future probes. Elon Musk's first human colony on Mars would have to survive on a vegan diet. It could not be anything more like a movie. Elon Musk recently announced that future Martians will survive by growing their own food in solar-powered hydroponic glass dome farms. As a result, meat will not be on the menu, and these first people on Mars will have to survive on a completely vegan diet. Musk does say, at least for the moment, that it will likely only be the first 100 people on Mars who are limited to fully vegan cuisine owing simply to the extremely high levels of power which will be required to run and maintain the self-sustaining farms, combined with the obviously limited resources. For example, a study written by John Strickland from the National Space Society outlined the fact that you would halve the number of people domes could sustain if they also required meat and fish compared to a vegan diet. Similarly, it is also thought that if people did stick to a plant-only diet, a 0.3 square mile farm with four levels to it could feed a colony of approximately 5,000. However, Musk does not foresee glass domes being the story of life on Mars forever, and rather suggests them to be a form of temporary habitats for the first cohort of people to help develop more permanent infrastructure on the Red Planet. With Starship, the Mars rocket, looking highly likely to be ready for its first test orbit sometime this year, the possibility of life on Mars is becoming increasingly real. 
therefore preparing for other logistical details such as how to then survive once you have reached Mars will be the next groundbreaking research needed in the field to continue expanding our horizons, quite literally. Plans for life on Mars are wide and varied. China, United States, and the United Arab Emirates all have plans to succeed at cracking human travel to Mars by 2040, and the UAE has gone so far as to plan future civilization on the Red Planet. However, Musk is currently making headway and has the most aggressive plan, aiming to get a human crew to Mars by 2026 and an established thriving city by 2050. With international involvement creating even more competition and incentive to be the first to Mars and first to facilitate life on Mars too. Mysterious kick just after the Big Bang may have created dark matter. Scientists believe that matter and antimatter should be balanced. They are counterparts, and as most materials that are opposites, they ought to cancel each other out on contact. All the universe's matter should have been destroyed as soon as it came into existence as a result of touching with antimatter. But, as we know, that's not the case, and there is a known imbalance in space when it comes to matter and antimatter. Scientists now theorize that when the universe was in its infancy, a kick was responsible for producing far more matter than antimatter. It's possible that this imbalance between them made dark matter. Dark matter has a pull on everything, yet it does not interact with anything, even light. All we know is it exists and makes up 80% of our cosmos. But how it works, how it came to be, and what it does is still a mystery. And yet, we also know that regular matter has nothing in common with dark matter, which is, as of now, outside our understanding of physics. It is believed that for a short while, antimatter and matter were balanced, but something caused that balance to shift and it filled the universe with matter. Scientists do not know when this happened, if it even did. It is now thought that perhaps the unbalance of matter and antimatter is connected to the birth of dark matter. It would make sense for these processes to be connected, but without proof, one can only speculate and study the situation. A study by Arxiv from 2020 alleges that space relies on a baryon number symmetry. Baryons are composed of quarks, protons and neutrons, and it claims that all baryons must be equal in interaction with baryons possessing antiquarks. If this paper is accepted by peers, it will suggest that symmetry is an aspect of almost all things in space, yet it suggests that in the early cosmos, the kick specifically pushed antimatter and matter out of proportion. In physics, if symmetry is shattered, it creates what is called a goldstone boson. So if the theory is correct, it adds evidence to the idea that dark matter is a product of the baryon number of matters breaking. The balance between dark matter and matter then suggests they are indeed related. But this theorized model of understanding dark matter does not help with the split between dark and normal matter. 80% dark matter and 20% matter. They are in rough balance. And it's thought that it's because they share their origins. This unknown origin or kick is yet to be theorized and for now is being held as a placeholder. Someone on social media sent us this photograph saying that it was captured above the United States. They couldn't explain what the object was in the sky detailing that it looked to be in the shape of a black triangle. The photographs were soon sent to various online groups that investigate mysterious phenomena, and the majority of them agreed that this was a black triangle, a mysterious aircraft that's been sighted across the United States for several decades. The mystery here, though, is that no one is sure what they are and who they belong to. If they belong to the United States military, then it proves that they have technology far superior than anyone else as these aircrafts have been observed outmaneuvering jets and traveling at tens of thousands of miles per hour. When these types of photographs are taken, it's very hard for the eyewitnesses to be able to record the encounter, mainly because the vast majority of eyewitnesses aren't expecting to see anything, so the encounter is usually rushed, leaving those involved with more questions than answers. The phenomenon of black triangles has been a topic of interest and debate for many years. 
Reports of these triangular-shaped aircrafts have been documented across the world, and many people believe that they are extraterrestrial in origin. The first recorded sighting of a black triangle was in 1561 over Nuremberg. The 1561 celestial phenomenon over Nuremberg was a rare and unusual event that occurred on April 14, 1561, in Nuremberg, Germany. It was an aerial battle that took place in the sky above the city and involved a large number of strange flying objects that were described as spheres, cylinders, triangles and crosses. This event has been the subject of much debate and speculation among researchers and historians over the years. The event began at dawn when a number of large black spheres were seen emerging from the sky. These spheres were said to be as big as a small house and were followed by a series of smaller objects, some of which were described as cylinders and others as crosses. Witnesses reported seeing these objects move and dart around in the sky in a chaotic and violent manner, as if engaged in some sort of aerial battle. According to contemporary accounts, the objects emitted a strange noise that sounded like a great many men, women and children screaming. Some witnesses reported feeling a sense of dread and fear as they watched the objects in the sky, while others were filled with wonder and amazement. The event lasted for about an hour before the objects disappeared back into the sky. In the aftermath, the people of Nuremberg were left to wonder what had just happened. Some speculated that the objects were celestial in nature and had some sort of religious or divine significance. Others believed that they were the product of advanced technology or even extraterrestrial in origin. Over the years, the Nuremberg event has become one of the most famous and well-documented mass UFO sightings in history. Some researchers have suggested that the event may have been the result of a natural phenomenon, such as a meteor shower or an unusual weather pattern. Despite the many theories and speculations surrounding the Nuremberg event, no one has been able to provide a definitive explanation for what actually happened that day. The event remains an enigma and a mystery to this day, and continues to capture the imagination of believers and historians alike. One of the most famous Black Triangle sightings occurred in Belgium in 1989 and 1990. During this time, hundreds of people reported seeing a triangular-shaped aircraft with three bright lights. The sightings were so widespread that the Belgian Air Force launched an investigation, but they were unable to identify the object. Despite the lack of concrete evidence, the Belgian Black Triangle sightings remain one of the most well-documented cases in history. In recent years, there have been numerous sightings of black triangles across the world, including in the United States, United Kingdom and Mexico. These sightings have led to many theories about the origin of these objects. Some believe that they are controlled by advanced beings, while others suggest that they are top-secret military aircraft or drones. One popular theory is that black triangles are part of a secret military project. The US Air Force has acknowledged that they are testing advanced aircraft, but they deny that any of these aircraft are triangular in shape. Despite this, many people remain convinced that the military is testing new aircraft and that black triangles are a part of this testing. Others believe that black triangles are evidence of advanced life forms. They point to the shape of the objects, which is not consistent with any known aircraft, and suggest that they must have been created by something incredibly advanced. While there is no concrete evidence to support this theory, it remains a popular belief among many enthusiasts. The impact of black triangle sightings on popular culture has been significant. The widespread interest in these sightings has also led to increased attention from the scientific community, with researchers studying the sightings in an attempt to explain their origin. As of right now, the phenomenon of black triangles is a topic of great interest and debate. While there is no concrete evidence to support any one theory about their origin, their widespread sightings suggest that they are more than just a myth. However, as the years go on and more evidence is presented, it is possible that we may one day uncover the truth behind these mysterious objects. The Aurora aircraft is a mysterious and controversial plane that has been the subject of much speculation and debate since the 1980s. Although the existence of the Aurora has never been officially confirmed by the US government, many aviation enthusiasts and theorists 
believe that the plane is a highly classified stealth aircraft capable of flying at hypersonic speeds and reaching altitudes of up to 100,000 feet. The origins of the Aurora can be traced back to the late 1970s, when the US Air Force began developing a replacement for the aging SR-71 Blackbird reconnaissance plane. According to some accounts, the new plane was designed to be capable of flying at six times the speed of sound or faster, and to operate at altitudes well above those reachable by conventional aircraft. The Aurora was also believed to be equipped with advanced stealth technology that would make it virtually invisible to radar. The first reported sightings of the Aurora occurred in the early 1980s, when a number of witnesses in California, Nevada and other states reported seeing a triangular-shaped aircraft flying at high speeds and making sharp turns. Over the years, similar sightings have been reported in other parts of the world, including Europe, Australia and Asia. As of right now, the US government has never acknowledged the existence of the plane, and there are no official documents or photographs of the Aurora. However, there have been numerous unofficial reports and rumors about the plane over the years, and some aviation experts believe that it may have been used in various covert operations and military missions. Some have gone further, speculating that the Aurora is part of a secret government program to develop advanced technologies for use in space and extraterrestrial exploration. Some even claim that the plane is capable of interstellar travel and has been used to explore other planets and galaxies. Despite the lack of official confirmation or concrete evidence, the Aurora continues to fascinate and intrigue many people. Its mysterious origins and alleged capabilities have led to countless theories and speculations, and the plane remains one of the most enigmatic and controversial aircraft in history. So, what do you make of this photograph and the mysterious black triangles? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comments section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.